Hello, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Jason. So for this problem, uh, the statement is a relative long, but um, let's go through the whole statement first. So we have a two feet diameter drum weighing 25 pounds that has brake shoe device, which is used to suspend a weight W. And the drum axle is mounted in an oval shaped hole so that the full weight of the axle um, bears on the sliding block and the pulley and axle are frictionless. The question is if the brake shoes can lock the drum, what is the maximum weight that can be suspended? All right. So let's take a look at those um, information with respect to this um, sketch. All right. So it says a two feet diameter drum which is this one, two feet diameter drum, 25 pounds for the weight, and have the brake system, brake shoe on um, um, both sides of the, the drum. So when you push or when you break the drum, it's going to create friction between the surface of the drum and this block, okay, and prevent the block from sliding toward this direction, pulling by this weight, right? And also, Showing on this sketch, the block and this service has a friction coefficient 0.45. Okay, so that means when you um, push the brake, it generates a, a friction here, which is let's assume that's F1, and also create a friction here, F2. All right. So basically what it means is that when you break the shoes, the the drum is not going to rotate. It stops rotating and pretty much like a stable surface relative to, to this uh, block, right? So it's going to generate the, the full fr friction from the normal force of the drum. Um, so, so the, uh, the sequence to determine this weight that we can subs suspend it the maximum weight is by creating several uh, free body diagram all right so f first of all this start from top to the bottom okay so first you will have a free body diagram at the interface of the um, the drum and this service of the block right so drum right here and this is your block. So you will have a weight point down. Let's assume this W1, which is 25 pounds. And at the service, at the inter interface here, you will have a normal force. Let's call it w, uh, N1. Right? So you will create friction F1 this is F1 too okay so at this interface you will know that N1 equals to W1 which is 25 pounds and also F1 will be equals to the friction coefficient times its normal force which is um, 0.35 times 25 pounds so that's um, 8.75 pounds okay so this is what we get from the the first free di free body diagram and then second secondly we'll move on to the second um, interface which is from the block and uh, from which is the interface between the block and this uh, service. Okay, so you will have your block right here. And this is your um, service or platform. And all right, so this drum is sitting on top of the, the, the block. So you will have your weight two from the block and also um, weight one from the drum 
and you will create a normal force at the interface, right? And also create uh, friction. So, um, let's zoom. So actually, let's back up. So the friction should point in this way. And this is your friction, right? Because the block is moving toward this direction and the friction should prevent it from sliding. So you should point in, in the opposite direction, okay? So this is F2 and this is also F2, okay? So in this free body, free body diagram, you will have N2 equals to W1 plus W2, right? Because you will have the um, both weights um, acting on this surface. So the normal force will be the combined weights of these two um, components, right? So W1 plus W2, which is 25 plus um, 30, so that's 55 pounds. And accordingly, F2 equals to mu2 times N2, which is 0 0.45 times 55 pounds. And that will give you 24.75 pounds, all right? And the, the weight will be suspended from this two friction along horizontal direction, right? So this block here will have two friction, F1 and F2, and preventing this weight, okay? So W will equal to F1 plus F2, which is uh, 8.75 plus 24, 0.75 and that will give you 33.5 pounds all right so that will be our final answer and that's b 33.5 okay so although the the statements of the questions is relatively long but uh, if you break down break it down into uh, several free body diagram with respect to the inter interface right then you will be able to find out the um, force equilibrium equation that you can use to solve for uh, the maximum weight or this pulling uh, loading. Okay, so um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.